Colver here, uh, back again with uh, another quick uh, multimeter review. This is the Bryman BM235. Um, this is the model that uh, um, Dave Jones from EEV Blog has uh, rebadged. Re -badged. Um, you know, it's a, it's a it's a nice little uh, multimeter. Look, it's certainly not a you know on the high end of the market, but look, it's certainly not on the low end too. Um, you know, it's uh, I think uh, landing for somewhere in the order of 130, 140 dollars Australian, and uh, look, it's it's been a really popular little meter, and uh, it's it's uh, quite a nice little thing. Um, look, it it's it's got uh, quite a nice big LCD display and uh, quite a lot of digits there. Um, you know, it comes with quite a nice set of cables. Again, I'm a bit of a a cable guy, and these are nice uh, soft. Um, cables lovely and pliant and uh, they sort of behave themselves um, it's you know quite a good little meter here um, I've got uh, just a, a um, the DMM plus the the voltage sorry DMM check plus you know the little uh, voltage reference standard here and uh, I've got it hooked the DMM check plus uh, hooked up to a, I'll come off camera there to a uh, Agilent 34461, now it's a, an older thing, it is actually an Agilent, and I've got a reading there, look I'm not sure if you can read it, of uh, 5.0002, uh, um, if I then put the, oh, can't think, think and move at the same time, oops no, something's all got lost, and we're getting a reading on the uh, Bryman of 4.999, oops I'm not doing so well here with the fingers, but 4.999, so look that's certainly within a count of, uh, of, of accurate, so look it's a little nice uh, sort of accurate unit. Um, I suppose the other sort of feature which people always uh, look for you know it seems a really popular one is the the uh, ability to you know the for continuity to uh, to be very quick and I'll just set it on to continuity and if you if I get the in the right spot in relation to the camera and uh, the other thing it does quite nicely it also does flash the light at the same time so that's a lovely quick action there for the for the continuity. So if you're ever, you know, tracing a you know a circuit through a board and uh, can't see it because it's a multi-layer board, look, quite a nice little meter there. Um, look, my last review was something sort of almost at the opposite end of the market, the uh, Keysight U one two eight two A, and literally you couldn't get things you know more chalk and cheese. Um, you know, the Agilent, you know, look, uh, I've, gee, I think you can get uh, six, five or six of these for this price, but look, um, the key uh, site, sorry, not Agilent, you know, is a lot more accurate. Um, you know, you've got at least another digit to and a half. Um, but look, you know, gee, the, the size and weight difference is really pretty spectacular. And... Uh, I'll just fire that up again, and you actually see the the Bryman's got really a a, a lovely little display there, and uh, so look, it's uh, look bang for buck. This this certainly is up there. Um, look, I must admit, I tend to you know love that reliability, and you know you really um, you know you sort of sell your soul a bit for some of these things, you know some of those readings, and so if I'm ever doing a reading that really counts. Look, I, you know, I'll go for the key site. But look, if there's a reading where I'm a little bit uncertain about to whether I might do some damage to the meter, look, I'd probably go for this little fella. But uh, look, it's, it's certainly a lovely little thing and, uh, um, you know, beautifully compact. And uh, um, again, look, some of the design features, um, absolutely beautiful that uh, when you undo the single panel to get at the uh, batteries, that also gives you access to the fuses, and uh, that's unlike some of the previous Agilents. My, uh, recently, I, 
I uh, blew a fuse on the multimeter and I thought, oh, I might get us some spare fuses. First time I've ever done it. And uh, interestingly, um, I had to see what fuses were inside this. It was a lot easier to open it up. But, gee, that was an easy job with the 1253. So, look, there's been some lovely work done with this little filler. And, uh, look, bang for buck, I think this is pretty good. So, um, look, anyway, look, uh, hope you enjoy this quick review and uh, all the best. See you around. Bye.